Every app in this video is under a dollar or even free, and I bet you didn't know about the majority of them. Like this free app called Pixel Tuner lets you access a hidden menu within your phone that lets you modify the status bar. You can remove or add icons, choose when the battery percentage should be shown, show the seconds within the time, and even display low priority notifications. Without this app, there's a huge possibility that you couldn't access the secret menu called System UI Tuner since it got removed in Android 9. By the way, stick with me to the end to learn about the best way to find out every app that goes on sale on the Play Store. Another great app under a dollar, which is actually free, is called Every NASA. For whatever reason, NASA is constantly publishing spectacular photos of beautiful stars, comets, and other objects in space, and these pictures look great as wallpapers. So with Every NASA, you can find all these space photos and easily apply them as your wallpaper. It even lets you use a live wallpaper that updates the background daily. My favorite part is that I can jump to any past date to learn about a photo released that day and read all about it. So if you're a big space fan or just want some awesome looking wallpapers, download every NASA. Or you can instead download these awesome pixel inspired wallpapers from my Patreon. I even made some amazing widgets with the newest one being an Android 14 concept of a text clock. Really spices up that home screen. Anyways, most phones nowadays have a way to let you hide your private files so that it's a lot harder to access. But what they don't let you hide are apps. Only a few OEMs like Samsung do. But for every other Android, you can download Amarok to get this feature. You just select the apps that you want to hide within the app and then hit the hide button when you're ready. From there, you can try searching for them in your app drawer and you'll come up with nothing. When you want to bring it back, just hit unhide within Amarok. It's that simple. The only string attached is that you'll need to activate Amarok with Shizuku if you're on Android 12 or higher, or just have root access. By the way, if you download at least one app from this entire list, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Or if you don't download any, drop a thumbs down. This will help me determine how well I'm choosing my apps. Thanks guys. Tooly is another free app with over 100 useful tools, perfect for anyone in school, doing office work, or even just wanting to do a certain task. The tools range between text, images, calculations, colors, and other random offline goodies. A few great examples are that you can quickly replace any word within any text. You can also quickly convert a measurement, weight, temperature, etc. Do basic geometry like calculating the area, volume, radius, or more for any shape. Resize an image and make it smaller, or turn it into a round one for a profile picture. You can even get the hex code for any color within a photo or screenshot that you have. There are so many random useful tools found within this app. If you end up digging through their entire list, I guarantee you'll find a neat trick that will save you time and a Google search. Nowadays, there are thousands of ways to get reminded to do something, but sometimes the simplest way is the best way. That's why I started using Noterly. It's a one-stop shop for creating simple reminders or notes to stick right into your notifications. So if I need to do something for the day, I can add it within the app and have it instantly pop up in my notification panel. I can even schedule notification reminders just in case I want to remind myself in the future or repeat them if I like to do it repeatedly. Like reminding myself to water the plants or dust the computer. AI chats are a great new way to learn about something new. And as we all know, chat GPT is already spreading like wildfire because of how powerful it is. But unsurprisingly, there are also a handful of other AI chats that work just as well. They're just not as popular. A free app called AI Chat Lab brings them all together just in case you want a variety of answers or some of your favorite AI chats are at full capacity and you can't use them. It comes packed with 11 different chats to choose from, so if you're not satisfied with one answer, you got 10 others to back you up. Now, if you want a more intuitive way to implement AI within your life, Notion is a perfect choice. It's a powerful note-taking app loved by many, and with their desktop app, they just released a new powerful feature to have AI help you with your writing. For example, let's say I need to write a history paper on Abraham Lincoln, but I have writer's block. No problem, I can have Notion AI write the essay for me to give me a better idea of what to write about. Or if I've already started writing, I can ask AI to expand on a topic or paragraph I've written, or even change the tone to something more straightforward or confident. I can also have it translate words to a different language, 
or give me the definition of a word without even leaving the page. Hell, I can even ask it to improve my writing if it just doesn't sound right. A lot of powerful ways to use this, but my favorite use case of them all is when I need to read something long and don't have the time to read it. So I simply ask Notion AI to create a short summary to get a general gist. Really saves me a ton of time when I'm in a rush. Also, don't tell anyone this, but it's also my secret weapon for when I need to create a tweet from a long script. The future is here, folks. With a simple press of a spacebar, you can unlock a whole new world of creativity thanks to Notion AI. So get started with Notion for free through the link in the description and improve your workflow with just $10 per month. Since we're talking about AI and futuristic things, why not also make your home screen look futuristic? This KLWP theme called NanoShell literally makes your home screen look like it belongs in the year 3023. The interface is very eye-catching, the animations are buttery smooth, and it works great on most phones I've tried it with. I even love that you can customize a ton of the interface straight from the home screen. So if you're looking to take your setup to the next level, download this theme immediately. You just also need to download the KLWP Pro key as well, which that will be the only thing that you need to buy. And since we're on the topic of theming, one of my all-time favorite icon packs is Dynamic Material U, selling for under a dollar. It copies the same look as those themed Google icons found within the pixels and brings them to your entire app drawer, no matter what phone you have. They'll dynamically change colors based on your chosen wallpaper and even follow your system's dark theme. Plus it can theme over 12,000 icons, which is insane. Now, if you're trying to impress everyone with these new themes, don't just share it with a boring screenshot. Instead, download Pretty Screenshot to make it look a lot more attractive. You can change the aspect ratio depending on which social media you're sharing it on, and then you can customize different aspects of the screenshot, like changing the radius, shadowing, size, and even the background. The only downside is that it does have a watermark, but you can pay less than a dollar per month to remove it. I'll even drop a hundred promo codes on my Patreon if you'd like to get the full version for free, permanently. And while on the topic of screenshots, I love using this quick settings tile called Screen Crop to quickly grab a certain part of the screen instead of the entire thing. It saves me a few extra taps from needing to take a full screenshot and crop it later within the gallery app. Again, selling for under a dollar. And I'll also drop some promo codes on my Patreon. Another great quick settings app that I really enjoy using and is under a dollar is called Calentile. This is the easiest way to see your next upcoming event. Plus, when you tap on the tile, you can get information about it and even check on more upcoming events. It's something that definitely needs to be on native Android. I even dropped some promo codes for this one as well on my Patreon. If you have a smartwatch, these watch faces I'm about to show you will really make your wrist shine. Concentric is the first one. It basically replicates the most amazing watch face found on the Google Pixel Watch. Same name, design, animations, everything. The only thing is that it's just not as smooth, but it still looks great and works amazingly. There's also this one called Shapes, which gives you the basic analog in a modern looking fashion. Very customizable too. But my favorite one of them all is Orbit. It's got two dials facing in different directions, and when combined, they show you the exact time in a really creative format. Plus, you can add up to four complications on the outskirts like the battery, date, heart rate, etc. Really beautiful watch face. I'll even drop some promo codes on my Patreon to get it for free. If you ever need to securely record a video, even with the screen locked, try out XS Camera. Within the app, you just hit Start Camera, and then it'll start the recording, no matter if you keep your display on or off. Even when you're using your phone, you'll get a little camera window showing you what you're recording while you pretend to use Twitter or Instagram. You can even get a little slider to zoom in or out. Within the app settings, you can change the resolution, choose to record with the front or back camera, and with the Pro version, you can do even crazier stuff like start recording by simply whistling or clapping, or start live streaming on another device. Promo codes to the full version are also on my Patreon if you're interested. Now this next one only works for those who are rooted, but it may make you want to consider getting rooted. The app is called Classic Power Menu, and it brings back the old Android Smart Hub within the Power Menu before it got removed in Android 12. It gives you all of your home controls so you can control your lights, security cameras, etc. And it includes all of your cards from Google Wallet. So all of your credit cards and loyalty cards can pop up inside this menu. Plus, when you tap on the loyalty cards, the barcodes appear to make it easier to scan. 
a perfect option for when I go to the gym. Plus, I love that it's Material U themed and that it's so customizable. Definitely recommend. Now, as promised, the best way to learn about what apps and games go on sale is by downloading App Sales. It's just a huge library of popular apps currently on sale. They even have a category showing you what's now free and tapping on any app will take you straight to their Play Store's landing page. The best part is that you can add apps to a watch list to get notified when they go on sale. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm going to leave the Google Pixel 7 Pro, which I used in this video within the YouTube product tag feature, sponsored by YouTube themselves. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. And also, if you want to see more applications that I think are amazing and may not even be on the Play Store, click this video right here and I'll see you over there. Kapow!